Welcome everyone to another tutorial, and um, I got this request on Twitter this morning, so I thought I'd do it because it's actually kind of a good idea. So I'm going to show you what it is. So we got this nice little circle and another circle orbiting around on there like a planet. So let's go ahead and talk about the code and see how this works. So this is of course just the basics. We have a thread. I'll zoom in. And this thread, of course, is the graphics thread that we draw things on so that things go smoothly. Um, and then we have a graphics G for an image. And then, of course, I always do two separate graphics, one for the image that we draw and then one that draws to the screen. That way it's nice and smooth and there's no blinking. And then, of course, the bitmap is the image that we actually are drawing to first so that there's no blinking and, and other sorts of annoying flickering that we don't want. So when the form loads, we go ahead and create this bit, bitmap as an empty 580 by 580 image. Uh, we do this because we want some extra space for drawing. And it's going to be about a 500 by 500. As you can see down here, a uh, rectangle is the area that we'll be drawing in. So we go ahead and assign graphics G to this image here. You can see they're the same thing. That way we can draw the image first. And of course, the form graphics get uh, assigned to the create graphics function in the Windows form so that we can draw to it. We create our thread. We set it to be the draw function, which is here. And we make sure it's a background function so that when we exit the window, it'll stop. And we start our thread. All right, then we set up all the values. So what we need is an angle to tell where, because it's like there's a circle and then there's an angle to wherever it uh, is drawing the circle at. So um, you can kind of envision it as a, a point in the center and then a line being drawn between where it's doing it as the angle gets larger, the, the thing goes around the circle. All right, so, and then we set up uh, the radius is 250 since we're gonna have a, uh, a circle which is 500 across, which also means our origin point or the center point will be 250 uh, y, 250x, or 250x, 250y, of course. Um, we do it uh, with brushes Azure, is the pen that I set up. In fact, I want to see. Yeah, it's slightly blue. It looks pretty white. Maybe I should change that. Change it to like uh, aquamarine, maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit more blue, whatever. Dark, no, light blue, sure. All right, uh, and it's three pixels in, um, in width for drawing. Now, as you notice, there's some different things here because normally we just have point, but I have point F here because that way we can draw graphics directly as, um, as a float value. Uh, and I thought of that just now when I was creating it as being an easier way instead of converting it back to int. So you can see rectangle also has an F at the end, which means float. So it has a float value. So we could theoretically put 0 0.0 F in there or 30.1. Of course, this doesn't really matter, but as you can see, it still runs. Um, so yeah. So we're just going to leave that at 30 because there's no reason to have that. This is the small circle that moves around the larger one. We started at 0, 0, and 50, 50. We'll later recalculate for that. This is the location where we're wanting to be drawing at. So I just have it, this is the actual point on the circle that we're calculating for. So I start it as an empty point. And then the image we want to draw slightly off center so it doesn't go off the canvas as the thing moves around. So I started at 20, 20. Then we go ahead and clear our graphics for the form. We begin drawing, we clear the graphics for the image, so it's all set to black. And then we draw our first ellipse uh, in the pen area, and area is here. So it's 30, 30, and 500 by 500. And of course the pen is the, the color and the width. And then we calculate, circle on point is the function we're using, and I'll show that to you. As you can see, it takes three parameters, radius, angle, and origin point, so that's the center point. And of course, angle is obviously the angle uh, in, on the circle, and radius is, of course, how uh, wide the radius is. Of course, we could probably calculate that from point origin, but whatever. 
not important because uh, you might not always be drawing from zero. But anyways, so float x, float y, the two important values, and then it's radius times uh, sine and cos um, with math pi divided by 180 plus origin x. Anyways, it's just the calculation for finding a point on a circle, and it returns it here. Um, so yeah, so where were we at? All right. So we do our calculation, we figure out where it is, where it needs to be drawn. And then we gotta recalculate because if we don't if we don't recalculate the circle x and we just set it directly to loc x and loc y, which but anyways, we draw that ellipse at the circle location that we've just calculated here. And of course, uh, width stays 50 in that case. Um, anyways, and then we go ahead and draw this to the screen this image, which is the image we've been drawing to with this graphics, graphics G. So we draw that image uh, to image, uh, and the IMG is, of course, this point at 2020, so that it's slightly off center. But anyways, so when the angle is less than 360, and of course, you know, angles on a circle end at 360, uh, then if it's less than that, we increase it. When it becomes equal to that, we put it back to zero. So. Yeah, pretty much. And I think I covered everything. So yeah, that's how you draw something on a circle. That's my tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys next time. All right, that's it. Bye.